Okay, so I'm going to do a video here about my uh, cable pulley system, but a couple of uh, little tidbits of information and some background information. I use this 3 16 inch cable, right? But notice this is the kind without the um, plastic sheath. Don't use this kind. Use the kind with the plastic sheath, okay? Because all this does, it sticks and it chews up the pulleys, okay? So get the coated kind. It's the same price. And the second thing, I got these on Zorro.com. And look at the specs. Um, they are four 3 16 inch cable. The capacity is 525 pounds. These are cast, too. Um, notice, though, that they're closed, okay? You can't take the pulley out. That's okay. So all you have to do is feed the cable through and then make your little loop, all right? So remember, I'm going to talk about that more later. Okay, also, too, um, I originally bought those little pulleys that they sell at Lowe's and Home Depot, and they cost about five or six bucks a piece. Those are junk. And the reason why, they're, if you really read carefully, those are made for rope. They're not even made for cable. So I had those originally with this um, bare cable like this, and it just chewed them right up. And it was it was binding and grabbing. It was, to it was terrible. So don't buy those. Don't use it with this. I think it probably those would have worked if I would have bought the coated cable, but I didn't. So you could probably get away with it. But I wouldn't recommend using those anyway because, like I said, they're originally made for rope. Okay, this is a video on my cable pulley system, and I'll go break it down piece by piece. But over here, I wanted to start with the, the kind of the flange thing. Okay, so I went with the the half inch pipe, right, with the little flange thing on it. Okay, got the end cap, and I drilled a hole in the end cap, right, put a bolt in there, a bolt in there to secure this thing. So what this does, right, it's just like a lot of other people's design, it's the same one. Okay, but the difference, why I went with this is because I can use the standard um, little weights. Okay, I can use these weights on the skinny pole, right? They work fine. And I can also use the regular plates as well. Okay, so just screw this thing on there, right? But what I use too is this pool noodle. And if you remember in my other videos, I love these pool noodles, right? Because what this does is, and I don't even have to take that eye thing off when I do that, okay? So, what that does is it keeps that secure on there, right? And then I just have a little piece of 2 by 4 here to kind of like where it lands. And it swings like all of them do, but it doesn't swing that much, okay? So, that's that end of it. And like everybody else is right course I got these little carbiner things and then I put three of those little clamps on there okay some people do one some people do two, two I like three because I don't want this thing coming off in my face okay these things cost a buck right so two bucks that's the price of uh you know peace of mind so you don't get your teeth knocked out all right or anything breaking on you so I like safety okay and like I said I use the three six inch cable and it's the kind with the plastic sheath on it because that's better. Okay, so if you look up here, okay, I got these bolts, these cast bolts, and these things are expensive, right? They're way more expensive than that. I think that thing might have even been, and I got it at Lowe's. It's like uh, five inches, but they hold like 1,200 pounds or something like that. Again, don't cheap out on safety, okay? And then mine's kind of, um, See how it flexes? And I like that too, okay? Because it gives a little bit. But the pulleys that I'm using right now are similar to the ones that I had before, but I cannibalize these off of one of those um, Total Gyms, okay? The Total Gym that has the cables on there. I just took those off, okay? They're closed. So when you put the cable together, the end of it, you can't just pull a little pin out, okay? You gotta feed it through there and then put the ends on there. But what I like about these, they have the nylon uh, pulley in there, okay? So the wheel thing is nylon, and there's no binding. It slides really good. And I sprayed that lithium grease in there. It works great, okay? So coming over to this side, it's pretty much the exact same configuration. I got that cast bolt, okay, carbiner, and this cannibalized um, pulley. The ones that I showed you earlier in the video, the ones that hold 525 pounds, those will work too, okay? But I didn't put those on there because I kind of chewed them up with that cheap uh, 
the cable that doesn't have the sheath on there. Don't use that stuff. And again, mine's closed. I got three of these little guys on there for safety, okay? So, with my system, okay, so I can do everything that I, you could do on another one, right? I can do, I can do pull down, I do triceps extensions. So look at my wheel, okay? Okay, see how, notice how it, it rocks back and forth a little bit. They all do, but, but here, do you hear any noise on this thing? No, it's smooth, okay? It's super smooth, and that's what you want. Okay, and then when I set it down, I just kind of like landed in there. All right, so I could do everything up top just like anybody else. But in addition to that, okay, I built something down here. Okay, now if you look, I attached this square metal bar on the bottom here, all right? And it's bolted through here, okay, it's bolted here. And then over here, I just stuck one of these little eye bolts right here. All right, right in the middle. Okay, now, the reason why I have that, okay, I got another six foot cable, okay? Same configuration. It's got those things and it's closed. And inside of there, I have one more of these pulleys and a carbiner. So what I can do is, I connect this to that. Okay, and then same configuration down here. It's all kind of like, it's not fixed, it's, it's flexible, okay? You gotta go around the other way. So I want this pointing that way, okay? Now, what do I have? I got a low cable row system, all right? And for the low cable row, I built this little uh, brace thing here to put my feet on. It's cut here at a 10 degree angle. I notched this right here, so it'll go right up underneath my metal bar. I just eyeball it. Okay, it's just kind of free floating, but it goes in the middle. Now with this, I can do my low rows, okay? So, because you want it to be far enough so that when you're fully extended, right, you're not bottoming out on the cable so you can get a full extension. So, with my feet on here, see, I can do any kind of low cable rows, okay? And I usually do these one arm, but I can do them like this and I can put a lot of weight on this thing, man. It, it is pretty smooth, okay? Notice that I got to put grease on it occasionally to, um, to keep it smooth. That lithium grease... That stuff works good, okay? Probably get away with Vaseline, you just have to keep putting that stuff on I don't, I don't like the real slimy, liquidy spray stuff that drips away like WD-40, all right? Okay, and that's my cable system.